31-ші мамыр саяси қоғын сұрғын құрбандарын еске алу күні. Негізі Қазақстанда 100 мұннан астам адам қоғын сұрғынге ұшырады. 25 мұннан астама ату жазасына кесілді. Негізі олардың арасындағы зиялылары ғалымдар мәдениет пен саясат саласының қараткерлері болды. Мұндай келіңсіз әрекеттер кеңес ұдағында орын алды. Шетелдік азаматтар кеңес ұдағы тұралы не ойлайды екен? Мен бүгін сұрап күрейін ұлардан, ұлар не айтат көреміз. And uh, so, from your perspective, uh, is uh, communism or Bolshevism is the same like fascism? Can you say that all, all these ideologies, both of, the, of them, are uh, are equal? I wouldn't say. I wouldn't say communism is equal to fascism, but that is. Then again, that doesn't really come down to real-world examples. That more or less comes down to ideas, as opposed because, like fascism, obviously fascist doctrine is about the separation of peoples, as opposed to the coming together of peoples. But to get one or the other, there is essentially a tearing up of what's already there. So obviously, it's it's quite easy. It's yeah, it's quite easy to end up at the conclusion that they are pretty similar, and at least a method other than. They are representative of uh, Alash party and some of them they are just uh, writers or Kazakh poets so lived uh, in USSR in 20s and 30s. Uh, all of them they were uh, destroyed by Soviet regime uh, during the I mean the, the Stalinism, eh? the repressions. So uh, I want to ask you what do you know about USSR because some people they say there, there were uh, positive aspects and negative aspects as well. The factors yeah, that were related or connected with the, with the regime. So what do you think? Um, that's a broad question. Yes. So, in the purest sense, the USR was just meant to be a collective, a collective country, a collective effort to try yeah. and solve these problems. That's in the kind of innocent sense. It was meant to be this project, almost, to unite all these similar countries together in similar regions and to bring them under one umbrella. Mm -hmm. In reality, it ended up being essentially run for the few, not the many, to coin a recent expression. And that meant that in their desperate struggle to keep that stability, mm -hmm. they did a lot of unsavoury things, whether it be imprisoning scientists or writers. Yeah. Anything that didn't fit their narrative had to be taken away because they believed that anything that attacked that collective mm -hmm. attitude and that collective idea mm -hmm. could destroy it. And then to protect themselves, they had to demonise others. Do you w wish if you were in 1937 in Russia? <laughs> That's your answer, yeah. <laughs> okay. Definitely not. Um, 
1937 in the UK. It was, it was the year my father was born. No, actually, it was the year my, my mother was born. Mm -hmm. um, it was probably difficult enough. Also, yeah? Yeah. I think in the um, USA as well because of uh, depression. Yeah, well, you can see it. Just a lot of Glasgow is still the same. You know, people die in their 50s. You know, in some places it's really bad. The, the average life expectancy in the area known as the Calton, just yeah. over on the south side, is 56 years old. Mm. You know, it's worse than places in Brazil. So, you know, I, I look at that and my mum remembers very much it being very difficult yes. growing up in Clydeside. Yes. But then when the, uh, the sort of communist um, block, as it were, were very big, the kind of red Clydeside uh, sort of groups of the, the, the early 1900s, uh, when that came together to try and protect workers, mm -hmm. uh, the UK government <laughs> sends in tanks.